Philippines is an agricultural country. And with what's happening in our world right now, someone you know might have become a plantito or plantita. Agriculture is a staple in our country's economic rice, and is the reason why we got vegetables, bread, and rice. <laughs> a lot of stuff that we eat and have came from crops, and it is fitting that we should know more about them. Welcome to Second Quarter, the world of crop production. Welcome to Grade 8 TLE Second Quarter. In this chapter, we gotta go plant stuff. If this is your first time in this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss these lessons. It's free, it's educational, and you can rewatch these lessons over and over again if you miss something. Farm tools, implements, and equipments play a very important role in agricultural operation. Their availability makes the works easier and faster. However, even if one may have the most sophisticated tools and implements but doesn't know how to use them, they are useless. One must have a good working knowledge of the tools, implements, and equipment before using them. Before using them, hmm. You know that reminds me of this module, because before you use this, you must have at least a decent knowledge of the subject because before we start, yeah, we got activities. Starting with this. And this. And this. Farm tools and equipment play a very important role in every farm practice and operation. So let's start with hand tools. Hand tools are the most simple and light tools. They are used with your bare hands in performing farm operation in small area in your vegetable garden in the house and in the small garden area in school. But what are the hand tools? Hand fork assembles the appearance of pork with sharp tins used for weeding and mixing additives into the soil. Hand cultivator used in loosening the soil, cultivating and removing weeds in the garden plot. Hand trowel, tool used for digging, loosening soil, and transplanting seedlings. Spading fork, a tool with a long handle used for digging out root crops. Shovel, used for lifting, digging, and mixing soil. Spade, used for loosening or digging soil with a sharp and flat edge. Grub hoe, used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. Crowbar, used for digging big holes and big stones and stumps. Pick mattock, tool with a transverse blade head at one end and a pointed head at the other. Dibbler, a tool used for making holes in the soil for planting seeds. Bolo, used for cutting tall grasses and cutting branches of trees. Knives, Used for grafting, marketing, budding, or cutting or planting trees. Sickle. Used for harvesting grains with a curved blade. Pruning shears. Used for twigs and leaves and cutting small branches of plants. Axe. Used to cut and split bigger posts. Wheelbarrow. Hand propelled vehicle used for hauling manure, fertilizers, and planting materials. Sprinkler, used for watering plants. Sprayer, used for applying herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizer. Pail container, used for hauling chemical fertilizer and even water. And rake, used for gathering leaves and leveling the soil. Those are the hand tools. You know, the one that you use with your hands. But what are the other equipment you can use in farming? Well, we got accessories. Accessories are pulled by working animals or mounted machineries, like tractor or hand tractor, and used in preparation of the farm, usually made of a special kind of metal. Plow, pulled by working animal or a tractor. It is used for tilling large areas of land, making furrows and row cultivation. Harrow, 
use for tailing and pulverizing the soil pulled by carabao or mounted to a tractor. Wooden harrow is made of wood with metal teeth. This harrow is mounted to a tractor. Rotavator Mounted to a tractor used for tailing and pulverizing the soil. And those are the accessories. And if we got accessories, well, we got machineries to use them. Combined Harvester It is an economical machine used for harvesting grain crops, combination of reaping, threshing, and winnowing. Hand Tractor Used to pull up low and harrow in preparing large area of land. And four-wheel tractors, used to pull disc flow and disc harrow preparing much bigger area of land. So, yeah. Those are the materials, tools, and equipment needed for crop production. And again, do this. And this. And this. And this. And this. <sighs> this is a long lesson, isn't it? But yeah, again, those are the materials, tools, and equipment needed for crop production. Because, sure, we got tools, and using them in crop production means that they are going to get dirty. So, how are we going to clean them? Well, let's start with the basics for cleaning your shovel, spade, grub power, even sharpening the blades on the hedge to knock down rust. It's a nice idea to keep sharp blade to cut all the soil better. Try to use the whetstone to keep all the cutting tool edge honed. Try to find a way to stabilize the tool that you wanted to work on. Bench spice is ideal. You can clamp the tool into place at an angle. Clamping the tool into place with the vise free both of your hands to use the stone and give you control of what you are doing. Apply a bit of lubricating oil and begin to work the stone over the blade. Maintain a 30 degree angle between stone and the blade. You are not only sharpening the blade but also removing rust that form at the edge of your tool's blade. Clean rust and dirt to all metal surfaces with a wire brush. Remove rust from small tools with fine steel wool. Use old toothbrush with lubricating oil because it is a great work to fresh oil into the joints. Use medium grit sandpaper to remove rust on larger tools like shovel, spade, and hose. Once your tools are clean, they are ready to be sharpened. Use whetstone for the pruners because of the very sharp cutting edge. Apply few drops of oil or water to the stone. When sharpening a file, do not use oil. Metal fillings will accumulate and clog the file. Farm implements like ordinary plow and wooden harrow should be checked before use. Loosened bolts and nuts should be tightened firmly. This plow and this harrow should be lubricated also on their moving parts like the bearings. Tractor should be tuned up very well by a skilled operator. Always check their lubricant, fuel, oil, and cooling system. Tools that are worn out should be separated and to be fixed to avoid accident. And yeah, those are a lot of things. So now we're zooming in to how to maintain farm tools and equipment. Simple. You sharpen tools before and after use. Oil or grease metal parts. Wooden handles should be strong. Hang your garden tools. Store tools in the original cases, use silica gel packs, and dry tools after use. Farm tools, equipment, and implements must be regularly checked to prolong their useful life, use them efficiently, and save time and effort. And here are the materials needed in sharpening tools. We got whetstone. I mean, it is to sharpen tools. Sunpaper. So you can remove rust and minor defects in the blade and you can use it in larger tools. And oil because yeah, to lubricate. So yeah, this is basically the materials, tools, and equipment and how to maintain them. Gee, I wonder why this is not a separate video. But anyway, this is only lesson 1. And we're done. We're done with the lesson but not the activities, you know, because... There is a lot of activities, so again, do this. 
and this and this and this and this one yup those are the activities for you but lesson one is done it really is a lot to take in and to give you some insights in the next lesson it's going to be technical and to give you some insights in the next modules boy that's going to be a lot I don't know if your teacher is going to lessen some workloads because I'm just the editor and the voice of this video but it is quite a lot with that it's almost December I know there's going to be a Christmas break and hopefully it is long for you but don't stress yourself for this one we explore the concepts and fundamentals of almost every technical vocational subject that you can take so when you grow up you have a basic knowledge of how everything works in the industry this might be theoretical but remember we study this to learn not to get stressed by the activities so do this at your own pace thank you so much for watching stay safe and see you on the next video